I gave her everything She took my heart and left me lonely I think broken hearts contentious I won't fix, I'd rather weave What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Supernova on Supernova TV. Welcome to this video, guys. This is a build video. This build video is on a six-piece tactician build. Authorities, as you guys already know, this six-piece is pretty much really, really good in my opinion. Yes, the weapon towns aren't proc, but anyways, let's get into this. This is a team build, so you guys will be a team player. Uh, so this build is basically much what I said is it's a pulse build. You can heal also. But we're going to start off by with the gun that we're using. It's the lightweight M4. As you guys can see, it's almost max. It's not max yet, but it's getting there. We got 15.1K on damage. We run a competent adapt and deadly. Adapt is not proc, as you guys can see, because I don't want to roll too much into firearms. As you guys can see on the top of the screen, our primary firearms. Nah, we're going to skip that. Our firearms is 3,100. Our stamina is 3,600. And our electronics is 9,000. So, yeah, guys, we're not trying to proc no weapons, really. We're just trying to help our team out, keep our team alive. If you're playing with Pred, Preds, this build will be very dangerous. This build also will be dangerous with strikers with the defib. It will keep them healing, especially if they have a 9K stamina build. Uh, on the second gun that we're using, it's the house. As you guys see, we have nothing proxed. It's fierce and responsive. Car counter, 23% uh, to critical hit chance, 14.2K to damage. And as you guys can see, we're running all critical hit damage mods. But well, that's what we're trying to go for because we... We want to hit a lot of critical hit damage. It's not really for the crit hit chance because so because mostly the people you play with will be running the house. So that's pretty much it. They're going to have a lot of crit hit chance already. And we're running predatory on the sawed off. So if someone gets down, we can keep the healing because we are pretty much squishy, even though we have 3,600 on the stamina. For the first piece that we got that we have is the tactician authority chest. As you guys can see, we have, we have it rolled into electronics with health stamina mods on it. Not health stamina mods, with stamina mods, with crit, with um, skill haste. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I'm just speaking wild. Uh, as you guys can see, here it goes right here. Our major attribute is 16,296 health, 7% skill haste, and minor attribute is ammo capacity. Capacity. I do think capacity is probably the best on every build you want to go for because you want to. You don't have to keep taking trips to the um, the checkpoint or to a safe house but if you are playing scrimmage with this build maybe you want to run something else besides ammo because you do get ammo over and over when you're playing scrimmage or last stand and for our second piece we're running the tactician authority mask as you guys already know and we rolled that into electronic as well with stamina skill haste mods and our major attribute is 9271 skill power our minor attribute is damage to elite you guys can pick whatever you want you don't have to use damage to elite it really doesn't matter you can pick whatever you want for that um, and the third piece we're running is the knee pads of tactician authority holster and I mean sorry tactician authorities knee pads because I'm going crazy on what I'm talking about um, as you guys can see right here this gear score is 281 armor 1504 this build is not mid max yet guys this build is not fully at its potential and as you guys can see we're running electronics on here also our major attribute is 12,080 12,813 skill power. Our minor attribute is bleed resistance, shock resistance, blind and death uh, resistance. And we're running electronic mods with 3% skill haste and performance mod on every single piece that that allows a performance mod is 2% pulse critical hit damage because we are trying to max out critical hit damage for our players that are using SMGs or, a, or assault rifles. This will help out so much if your teammates using the house and if they're using uh predmark it's going to help you guys hit a lot harder um and as you guys can see right here the backpack tactician authorities pack we run electronics on this as well and we're also using nope this is the only piece that we're using a firearms mod on this firearm mod is skill haste and as you guys can see like i said we got two percent on uh critical hit damage we're trying to max out that critical hit damage that's the main part about this build all the healing with your defib will come with the skill power that you have. The 9K electronics will help your defib do really good. So you don't have to worry about doing um, 
aid to um, ally heals. You don't want to worry about that so much. Um, our major attribute is 12,348 skill power. My attribute, like I said, has to do with ammo capacity ability. I think that's the max 56%. If you guys do want to roll something else, you might as well roll something else if you're running scrimmage or last stand. It really doesn't matter. Don't focus so much on ammo when you're in there. And for the fifth piece that we have, it has 999 nine, nine armor. As you guys can see that, the gear score is 287. We ran electronics on this. We're also using electronic. Oh, you can't put any mods on here. Sorry about that. You, but we are running electronics. Our major attribute are critical hit chance, assault rifle damage, critical hit damage. If you guys do like to run a house besides the AR, you guys can go ahead and change that assault rifle damage to SMG damage. And that's going to help you guys out a lot. The last piece we're running is Tactician Authority Holster. As you guys can see across the boards, that's pretty much really good. We could definitely um, re-roll something in there. I didn't re-roll anything in there yet. Like I told you guys, this is not min-max yet. We probably can get this to about 290 without even upgrading it. Um, so, yeah, you can just go ahead and get the health up and the electronics up. Our major attribute is health. I told you I don't want to be too squishy. We could roll into... Um, Skill haste, but we're using skill haste mods, and with the six piece, it does give you a lot of skill haste. It gives you additional five percent as you guys keep, as you guys know, if you had to build. Okay, so we're gonna go over to our character sheet. Actually, let's click on to our AR first. I'm click on our AR first, so the character sheet I messed up. Weapon damage, we already know what the weapon damage is. That's our crit damage, our crit chance, as you guys can see. Crit damage with the AR is 110. We can get that all the way up to about 170 if we can. Headshot damage, 87 percent. And all this doesn't really matter to you guys because we're playing PvP and who cares? You see that skill power, man. It's a lot of skill power. We almost have max skill haste. If I wanted to, I could get max skill haste if I went went ahead and rolled um, skill haste on my on my holster. But I really told you guys, this build at the cap of like 9,000 electronics, guys, that's really, really good. Your skill haste is going to come back fast no matter what. As you guys can see, my max health is that. Health regeneration, all that stuff. It really doesn't mean... Anything and guys, sorry about that that you just heard in the background. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go look at the pulse that we guys are that we can use. So guys, I am using the pulse right here, the scrambler pulse, the conceal pulse, whatever you guys want to call it. You can see right here. Look at that. The critical hit chance, thirty four point nine percent. Might as well round that up thirty five percent. Make your build even stronger. And that this with no stacks. I have no stacks right now. Uh, we got critical hit damage. As you guys can see, 42.4%. That's going to help your team shred. That is going to make your assault rifle users hit for more than what they can. As you guys can see, we get it back. The cooldown is only 18.80 seconds. And let me show you guys something real quick. If you know that someone that you're playing against does not have a scrambler on, you need to use this, the tactical scanner. This thing, this damage pulse puts out so much. That critical hit damage that already at 54%. If you stack that, that can go up probably about 70 percent i'm sorry i didn't check that before i made this video but yeah guys you put this on you can definitely destroy some players my teammates have been telling me how much of a good pulse build this is and if you guys do want to see more gameplay all you have to do is like this video we can get this video to 10 likes i will keep using this in the dz and i will just bring you guys some really good gameplay but yeah we do stick with this scrambling pulse most of the time and now to go with the defib for our first aid as you guys can see we're using the defibrillator as you guys can see, it doesn't heal yourself for so much, but your team's are always using combat medic. So if they're healer or their pulse build, as you guys can see, we are a pulse healer build. As you guys can see, our ally heal is three, 314,000. That's going to help your teammates out a lot. And especially, like I said, if they're using um, a healing build for their self, like striker, they definitely can like face tank people because your heal is going to be healing them for quite a bit. And that can go up to about 440,000. I have seen it go up to like 440,000 on the ally hill and about 200 something thousand for yourself. And as you guys can see, the cooldown on here is 16.9%. On this build, we we are running triage because we do want to get our skills back faster. And the triage does make this build way more effective, I think, because just having your skills back faster without that extra 7% of skill haste, because I told you guys on a holster, we weren't going to use that. You can use it if you want. And we're also using critical save, as you guys know, 20% for 10 seconds. We use a med kit at low health, and we're using combat medic because this is a team build. You can try to run it solo if you want to, but I really wouldn't recommend that because you're so squishy. And we're using combat medic, obviously, because we want to keep our team alive. If one of our heals are down and we just don't, and none of our teammates already use theirs, you do want to have that on. And as you guys can see right here, we are using one, um, 
on the move because we do want to get that extra buff if we tell our teammates to leave a player down for us because we know they just used their green and we can hit them with a predatory sawed off shotgun and that's going to help us out a lot because we're going to be healing as we're gaining um, a shield buff. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Remember, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like on this video. Comment down below anything I can do better on this video, anything that I could change, what you guys want to see on the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on these amazing videos. Peace out. Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with 4 I just pulled up me a A.